Good morning, and here's some highlights from this morning's papers. Um, the major leads are the fact that Putin has won the presidential election in Russia, no surprise there. And a few papers are also saying that the Greeks are heading for disaster in terms of the euro yet again, heading for a sovereign default this week. Knife edge is the word that some papers are using in terms of the perilous situation the Greeks are facing again. On the personal finance front, the main story is that mortgage rates are going up, the Halifax has already raised its mortgage rate, and other banks and building societies are expected to follow suit very shortly. Uh, the FT suggests this is going to be damaging for the housing market, though uh, not many other papers have thought the same. Another PF story is the fact that British pension funds are going to invest over £4 billion into government-sponsored projects like roads and hospitals and uh, rail links. <coughs> On the property front now, <coughs> the news is that the Italians have now overtaken the Russians in terms of uh, being the main overseas investors in prime property. The Greeks are also improving, but because they're so poor, they're not buying as many as the Italians. So obviously it's an escape from these um, countries which are obviously in trouble, and the rich people in those countries are buying in London to avoid to cut the risk from the euro in their own countries. Um, on the recruitment, there is some good news. Tesco's has been reported everywhere of um, saying they're going to hire 20,000 people over the next two years. I mean, it sounds fantastic in terms of numbers, but when you think they have 250,000 employees anyway, it's less than 6% over the next two years. And it's, they're quite clever in saying that uh, it doesn't, it's not an addition to any redundancies or people leaving. But it's a good PR uh, stunt and it's a good achievement for Tesco's in terms of newspaper coverage. So there's the paper roundup for today, Monday.